going to be warmly welcomed to the arena. Sasha Kindred, one of the legends of Paralympic sport, a six-time Paralympic champion, not in one of his favourite events, it must be said, but three Chinese swimmers, including the world record holder and defending champion. Going in lane eight for Canada, Nathan Clements. For Brazil, the 21-year-old Talisson Glock, fourth in the 100 back. Going in lane one, a backstroke and individual medley specialist. In lane seven, Kyosuke Oyama, bronze medalist in 2012. On a day in which Japan's most successful paramale swimmer, Kawai, Yunichi Kawai, was inducted into the Paralympic Hall of Fame. Sasha Kindred, bronze medal in 2008, goes in lane two. Chu Ching, world record holder. And who won the 50 free and fly at uh, both 08 and 2012. Nelson Crispin Corto of Colombia, 24 year old, goes in lane three. Chen Tao successfully defended the 100 back title that he won in London on day one of competition. But alongside Cheng, who goes in five, is Wang Li Chao, a 22 year old who surprised many with his performance in the preliminaries. Won his heat, the fastest qualifying time 30.89. Looking for gold in his only event at the 2016 Paralympic Games, but Chu Ching at his fourth Paralympic Games, defending champion and world record holder, goes in lane six. He's a seven-time Paralympic champion already, and he's already hinted that he's set to uh, at least consider retirement post Rio 2016. So man will be looking to defend his title and go out on a high. That's one of the main contenders for gold going in lane four, Wang Li Chao. Shu swimming from six. This is Nelson Crispin Corto of Colombia. Two times the 100 meter free world champion in the S6 class. Started just asking the crowd for quiet. So Glock of Brazil in one, Kindred of Great Britain in two, Crispin Corto of Colombia in three, Chinese athletes in four, five, and six, Wang Ching and Shu. Oyama of Japan goes in seven, and Clement of Canada goes in eight. All quiet now. The men's 50 meter fly S6. The final sees a very good start in lane five for Cheng Tao. He is so quick off the start of blocks, but can he hold on? Going on his outside, Chu Ching, the defending champion, the world record holder, desperately trying to overtake his compatriot while Wang. Li Chao looking to make it a China one, two, three. It looks like Cheng Tao is looking good for gold. Chu Ching desperately trying to overtake him. And what might be his final Paralympic Games, the race for gold. To the wall they go in world record time. Chu Ching in spectacular fashion. The world record holder beats his own world record and reclaims the gold he won four years ago in London. It's three in a row. He won in Beijing, he won in London. And when it looked like he would be challenged, he's beaten Cheng Tao into silver. He breaks his world record by one one hundredth of a second. Cheng Tao, just four hundredths of a second behind him. Oh, going in lane four, Wang Li Chao makes it a China one, two, three.
but celebrations for the People's Republic of China. Another enthralling evening of entertainment in the pool. What a race that was. China dominating that event. And it really looked like it could have been any of the three from the People's Republic of China. The fastest seed, Wang Li Chao, had a good start. Zheng Tao looked to be coming through at the finish, but it was on that stroke that Zhu Jing broke his own world record, won the event by four hundredths of a second, broke his world record by just one hundredth of a second. Uh, what a race. A little redemption. Three-time Paralympic champion in this event, the men's 50 fly, Chu Ching. And his fourth Paralympic Games is now an eight-time Paralympic champion. And Cheng Tao, who stole the gold, the uh, world championship title in 2015. Sister stolen the back now is Chu Ching. In terms of world.